So, when you have like a square root like this, you want to try and break 48 into different parts. Like, 48 equals 16 times 3. And I bet all of you know that 16 is a square root. It's 4 times 4 times 3. Which, that means we have a 4 here and a 3 here. So, now because you have two 4s right there, right there, then you have to put one of them there, showing that that was a square root. So, this 3 right here tells you you want to find cubic roots. As you guys know, 16 becomes... 2 to the third power times 2, which equals that. And then you keep the x to the third power times x, same as that part, and y to the third power. So, let's rewrite that problem and make it more clear, obviously. So that becomes like that, and let's see, times 2. And then x to the fourth power would equal x to the third power times another x, and then times y to the third power. Okay. And let's let's make it more clear. So so as you see this two to the third power and you see this x to the third power and the y to the, you all add it to the side because you see the square root right there. So that becomes two two x y to the third power over two x because that's the remaining number. Let's look at this problem right here. 24x to the fifth power. Okay. And this time we're going to break up 24 again, which would be 4 times 6 to the nx to the fifth power. As you know, 4 is a square root, so when it's um, square root, it's a 2. So we put the 2 there, and we leave, let's see, um, there's the 6x to the 5th power still. So, so um, we have our 6 right there. And then you see the 5 right here? You can simplify that one. So you can simplify it to 2x squared with 6x. And that's your answer. So pretty much as long as it, it's an exponent, like that's bigger than 2, you can add that number over here. So, yeah.